Got another project. They're getting a little more involved each one. This one's going to be the hidden spotlight frame that goes behind your front grill. And then we're going to upgrade the horn. The horn on this thing sounds like a Vespa. It is so pathetic. It's uh. At first, when I hit the horn, I could just about hear it. I didn't even know if it was working, but evidently that's what they put in here. So you know, we're going to upgrade the horn. Uh, so right now, I'm in the front of the van. We're going to take off the grill, and uh, we're going to try to install these two components. Now, the first one is going to be probably the frame, the hidden frame for my uh, uh, grill 8-inch uh, spotlights. squirrels or something uh, here's what we're installing the van compass floating light bar behind the grill and we have the directions here okay so I've already taken out the three top screws here that go right in here in the frame and then we'll pop this out like so And then you disconnect the camera from right here. It just pops right out, okay? So let's put this aside. All right, then what we need to do is we needed to take out these two screws here that hold the center support. So those two screws come out. And then we need to take out this screw here and this screw here. Now supposedly this frame just sits right on here and then we put these screws right back. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, here's the frame right over here. I picked this up at um, Freedom Van Gogh. They're a supplier for, uh, for this stuff. So while I was there, I picked it up instead of ordering it. But they already have them pre-wrapped and ready to ship. So right now I need to... Uh, unwrap this thing so let me do that and then I will uh, I will get right back to you tell you take a hacksaw and just cut this little tab off this plastic right here that's so that the frame can go in you don't have to go in far but we need to just need to just cut that a little bit okay. Now the reason why I'm putting this bar in here is the lighting at night is really, really poor. And I'm going to put two 8-inch spots right here that will shine out. Uh, these, these stock lights, if you're on high beam, it's a little bit better, but uh, 
it's really, really hard to see anything beyond maybe 100 feet in front of you. That's it. Very dangerous. Um, so that's why I'm upgrading the lights. All right, let me go cut that, and uh, we'll continue with the install. I just took a pair of snips, and uh, we just took off a half an inch of this little bracket right here. So here, see how this here works. See this here? You had to just cut a little bit of that plastic. This is just a this is just a little plastic uh, brace, and uh, and then you just where is it? Here we go. You just line up the hole there with the bolt, and you put the same bolt in that we took out. But right now we're going to upgrade the uh, while we have this open. We're upgrading this pathetic horn. So let me go get that. And see how that's gonna fit in here before I bolt this in in case I have to take it out again so let's go do that all right so this kit I got this online from owl van accessories um, wasn't too bad I got it on sale here during the holiday but this is uh, this is the double horn it's so we're going to be putting in a larger double horn and then this is the frame that's specifically for the uh, V30 Mercedes th uh, 330 frame here. I guess that's what they call it, the V30 frame. Um, so let's go figure this out. I don't see any paper instructions here, so I guess this is just going to be trial and error that's your basic horn that screws to this but we got to figure out where to mount that okay so that's got double screws huh. where are we gonna mount that thing all right so let me take this off take that horn out and then we'll go from there okay guys. so here's our bracket and the horns will be mounted right down here. And then here are the horns. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to mount them like this. Not like that, but they'll be mounted down like this. So the first one will mount right here. And they give you these... Uh, Little bolts here. I don't know if you can see that. Oops. Okay, and we'll do the other side. center uh, I have my T20 let's uh, tighten this thing down
Okay. We got them, uh, got them installed. Get the wiring on us. Okay, here we go. This is the included wiring on us. This goes right into the factory horn itself. So let's see if we can unplug that. It should be. Yeah, I guess I did. Here it is right here. Okay. So, well first let's plug this in. So if it's going to be this way, we want to do the short ones over here. So, I don't believe it makes a difference uh, which color goes up, but what we're going to do is we're going to do blue on the top. And we're going to do brown on the bottom. And we're going to keep the same sequence over here on, on the second one. Blue, blue on the top. And brown on the bottom. stuff together we're going to have those two screws hopefully they're going to be long enough i don't know might have to make a run to the hardware store all right so let's uh put this back in here like this now we're going to do first I think we're going to put in those side pieces first. The screws on the two sides to hold this frame in place. Get one there. Then I put this one over here. be a little stiffer than that but we don't have that oh okay that's why yeah all right so now we need to do the center portion here so we'll put that over here like so let's get these two center screws i don't know folks i don't know if these screws are going to be long enough Really be surprised if they hold. This is tedious. So, might have to take one of these out. So we can lift this bar up because the holes are not lining up here.
did. Went in. Whew. I didn't think they were going to be long enough, did not. They're not that long. And I'm adding two layers of uh, material here to the... Uh, This is not as easy. Well, it's tedious. It's not hard. It's just, where is that hole? See if we can get the grill back on. First of all, let's check the horn to see what's on.
camera back, we'll plug that back in. Now we gotta put these clips back in have to go in a little bit because there's a ring around the emblem so the horns have to fit inside that emblem and they're sticking out just a little bit so I'm just trying to bend those over a little bit and that just loosen the screw so that means we need to pop this out again Okay, three screws and we're done. So the lights go right here. We'll have our light, lights mounted right on here, so they'll be they're on order. I don't know when they're going to be here. So whenever they show up, yeah, whenever they show up, uh, we'll we'll install the lights. But yeah, it's uh, what did it take me? 30 minutes or so to put the horn and put the uh, light, the hidden light bar in. 
Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Looks good. And from the side, you can see, you can see the two, uh, the two light bars. So the, so the lights, the lights are gonna go here, and there'll be one right over there. Um, they're ten thousand looms. Uh, I think it's ten. Ten thousand looms each. So that should light my path a bit. Uh, so that project, another project down, and uh, next one is going to be what's the next projects? We're going to install the lights. I got to get them installed, and then we got to get the wiring down underneath the driver's seat. So that's going to be that'll be next week's project. I got to wait for it to cool off a little bit down here. And we'll get that in there and get our and then set my appointment to get back up to Jacksonville so that they can put in the uh, switches. All right, folks, that's it. That's it for today's project. Um, nothing else to show you. I worked on the curtain on the inside. That thing, that thing didn't survive the trip to Jacksonville on the last trip. It just was a hokey setup. So now I, I redid it. Actually, maybe I should show you now. Yeah, All right, I'll show you what I did. Um, all right, let's go here on the inside. All right, so I got a shower curtain from Walmart, and it's a, it's a steel. I thought it was aluminum, but I put a magnet on it, and it held really nice. So it was a steel shower curtain the adjustable the adjustable where you can unscrew it and it expands and contracts so what i did first at first is i took some 3m heavy duty double-sided tape i think it holds like i don't know 50 pounds or something and that's what i had that's what that black is up there that's that double face tape that i i just stuck to the back here up against the light bar there's a light bar on the other side um then I took these little magnets. They're uh, they're these little magnets I got on uh, Amazon, and then I lined because if you get the magnets that are, that are on a roll, they're very weak. They don't hold anything. So you got to get these individual magnets. They're a little more heavy duty. They got a little more holding power. So I got two packages of these. And then I lined, I lined the whole edge with that mat, with those little magnets. Then I just got the shower curtain, the one I had. It's got the, uh, there's, there's the uh, shower rod. You just run the curtain through the rod. Let about four inches. Keep keep the rod inside or, or extend the curtain four inches beyond the rod because you want the curtain to go around. You want to have a nice seal along here. So do the same thing on both ends. About four, Let it overhang about four inches. And then you just spread it out even and then just, just, just put the uh, shower curtain up against the ceiling. It just, the bag next, just grab it. I can't even pull this thing down. I mean, oops, there it is. It came down. I had to really yank on this thing. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's up there now good. So, actually, let me take that down again so you can see it. Oh, come on. There it goes. See how I did that with the magnets? And then, uh, and then you just pop that right up there and man it holds good so you don't have to have this up if you don't want and you can just put it up when you uh when you get to a destination i just leave it up all the time kind of gives it a nice little homey effect here you know with the curtains coming down See? <laughs> so anyway that's what i did i finally figured that out that and i didn't have to drill any holes so that worked that worked out all right well, you got some projects ahead of you, some of you. So hopefully you're learning, or you're learning from my mistakes, and uh, you won't make them as uh, 
uh, as bad as I do. It won't make the project as long. All right, folks. See you next week. Bye.